Previously on the final pitch, the entrepreneur picks of William Tu Lim take on their business challenge. Ate, balikan mo ako. Oh, may ulam na si Ate. Ito na. This week, the father and daughter tandem of Mikey and Milka Romero test their potential investees. My name is John Aguilar, and I'm an entrepreneur television producer based in Manila. I've gathered four illustrious investors looking to fund and support the next great Filipino company. William T. Lim, founder of Mega Global Corporation, makers of the number one sardines in the country, Mega Sardines. Congressman Mikey Romero, billionaire sportsman, port operator and co-founding owner of Philippines Air Asia. Michael Dargani, President and CEO of Ice Dream Inc., Philippine licensee of the well-loved global ice cream brand Baskin Robbins. And Mark Vernon, British angel investor and founder of the blockchain-based digital currency payment platform, TagCash. Our goal is to find the best up-and-coming entrepreneurs and help take their businesses to the next level. In the end, they face the investors in the pitch of their lives. Many will try, but only a few will make it to the final pitch. Making his comeback to the final pitch is billionaire sportsman, port operator and co-founding owner of Philippines Air Asia, Congressman Mikey Romero. After experiencing season two, I'd like to mentor more entrepreneurs. If I can make them millionaires or billionaires, then much better. That's why I came back to season three. Since the previous season, Mikey continues to aggressively grow his airline business. Actually, Air Asia now is really growing very fast. In fact, this year will be one of the top 100 corporations in the Philippines already. Air Asia is becoming very, very big at this point. Philippine Air Asia should be receiving at least five planes per year on the average. We are supposed to grow up to 70 planes for the next 10 years. Hopefully, in the next five years, we should be flying farther. Air Asia business is about going digital. That's the trend nowadays. You have to take advantage of technology. With his penchant for high growth investments, Mikey has also forayed into other industries. In terms of my other businesses, last year I ventured into power and energy and it's becoming very big for me. So outside of port, airline, I'm now full-time as a power and energy. And for this season, Mikey did not come alone. This season three, I'm now working with my daughter, Milka, and I'd like her to have her feet wet also. So, gusto ko rin siya ma-expose and I'd like her to understand also the many facets of life. For me, it's a big responsibility because I represent the younger generation. I'm a very hands-on kind of entrepreneur. So, I look at the little details, how to cut the costs, how to maximize our revenue. So with my dad, he's the bigger picture. He's the one that tells me to scale up. You can push it, think big. For the Romeros, business has always been an integral part of the family dynamic. All my children, we discuss a lot of businesses during our lunch or even dinner. They share their businesses even if I was like seven, ten years old. So they taught us the value of money at a very early age and hard work most especially. I was very excited to do my own business as well after hearing all their successes. So I started when I was 19 years old. Uh, my first restaurant in front of my school lang, that was called Roku. And then from there, Roku Sushi Ramen, it's a Japanese restaurant, um, flourished into Sushi Nori. So we were able to see a market and really penetrate or even create a market of on-the-go sushi. So we have seven branches of that. And then we took a Thai franchise, which is called Nara Thai from Bangkok. So we currently operate that franchise in Manila. She's driven, she's entrepreneurial, she wants to be better all the time. No? I'm the type that's still slowly growing, slowly operating, but of course my, my dad is already in the other side, wherein he's already um, experienced a lot, he's a successful businessman, so I learn a lot from him as my mentor. At some point in time, I'd like to pass also the torch to her uh, on 
running the, my business and stuff. But for entrepreneurs, I hope they get inspired by what she has done. They can learn that as early as 25 years old, my daughter, on her own, has become successful already. The urge to mentor while exploring other ventures is what guides Mikey in choosing his entrepreneur picks. I chose four companies, Style Genie, Yellow Dot, Gypsy, and One Ride. I can see that they have a solid uh, business plan. They can deliver on the e-commerce side of the business, except for Yellow Dot, kasi Yellow Dot, ito yung mga modernization ng GPs, no? Exponential potential nito, especially riding on the modernization program of the government, is very high. But on the three, which are application-based or e-commerce-based, they have the potential to grow exponentially. I want to help them scale up and help them in their operations. As an investor, I want to make sure that our money is put to good use. Mikey's decades-honed business acumen, combined with Milka's millennial viewpoint, forms exceptional insights for entrepreneurs to follow. My advice for Filipino entrepreneurs is really believe in your product and move forward with your brand. Because the difference with being successful and not making it is actually trying your brand and actually putting it out there for customers to try because you'll never know if you're successful if you don't put your product out there. Go for your dream. Do not be afraid of anything. If you think that your business can be the next business na mag explode dito sa Philippines or anywhere else around the world, then do it. Do not be afraid. Up next. Welcome to Air Asia. We're really excited to learn more about your businesses. I'm never afraid of any competitor. Competitors they should be afraid of me, not the other way around. Hello, entrepreneurs. Hi, John. Welcome to Red Point, the corporate headquarters of Philippines Air Asia here in Manila. Today, you will begin a multi day experience of the Air Asia brand to find out for yourselves why AirAsia is the world's best low-cost carrier airline. Now, I would like to call in the man who has chosen you as his picks for the final pitch. He is the multi-hyphenated co-founding owner of Philippines AirAsia. Sportsman, businessman, and congressman, Mikey Romero. Welcome to AirAsia and welcome to our office. Today, we will be exploring our business model, AirAsia, and how it became a much bigger company here in the Philippines. And we would like also to explore your businesses so we can know more about you. And of course, you've met her before and she has also chosen you as her picks. She is the very successful young millennial entrepreneur, restaurateur, daughter of Mikey, and also one of the directors of Philippines AirAsia, none other than Milka Romero. Hi everyone, we'd want to welcome you to Air Asia, but more importantly, to our team. We're really excited to learn more about your businesses and hopefully you can learn about ours as well. So now, first thing on the agenda, it would be good for you to sit down and find out more about each other. This is the time when you will get to know Air Asia and the Romeros. And this is also the time when they will get to know your businesses more intimately. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. I'm actually excited to meet them, learning from them, and also trying to know what inspires them to be who they are right now, um, and what makes them better every day. I want to know how he managed to take off this company to where it is now. I started in my port business. I became the biggest terminal operator in the Philippines. I jumped to AirAsia. We started this in 2010. My strength really is I'm good in visioning what businesses will have a future. And then I organize and then I implement. How about you? First, I'd like you to try one of my businesses, which is Sushi Nori. So please go ahead. I started as a small kiosk 
and you know it's really starting small and going slow but at a steady pace. Now we have six other concepts, not only sushi nori. So yellow dot, this two billion that you're raising is for 1,000 units. Because these are ready franchises already that we have. You have the franchises already. We have a few ones of our own. Uh, but these are new developmental routes. What we're trying to do is for the old jeepney drivers who cannot afford the down payment. But I want to see your fleet management system because this is the backbone of your yes, operation. Yes, true. Very true. Abino, style genie. Let's say today I want to dress preppy, tomorrow I want to dress grunge. Right? How do you read their minds? So for now, actually, the system, the offers that we have now are one time, but they can subscribe monthly. But then we made it possible for them to update their profile. So the stylist or the algorithm will exactly know, ah, this is what you're looking for. The value of your business will rely 90% on the app that you will be doing. Correct. For you, Yata, RG and Milka, because you're into food and she's into food also. Just but the, logistics yeah. also. So maybe if you can create a business, then then show me. <laughs> <laughs> what we discussed during the pitch was that I'm not going to go into Metro Manila for now. Yeah. Because of the fierce competition here. Really. But I can scale you up. Yeah. Like yeah. here in Metro Manila. If I... Depends really on Milka. No? Really I, I don't have... A lot of uh, monopoly na rin kasi on the food delivery. Mm -hmm. In Metro Manila, is that what you're saying? Yeah, we might just have a lot of friction lang. Friction um, to start. Because oh, I'm never afraid of any competitor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not afraid of <laughs> Competitors, they should be afraid of me. Not the other way around. Oh. Question? Yes. What are your expectations from us? Of course, if I look at your company, bottom line is, if I put my one million pesos, Will I ever get it back? Of course. Second, yeah. will you make money for me? And if I see that your business model makes sense, then I would definitely invest. How about you? Well, what I expect is, of course, that you're 100% dedicated to your business, that you're in love with your business because it's an extension of yourself, Marine. If you're an entrepreneur, you're always in a hurry to make money. You're always in a hurry to roll out your plan. If you wait for the government, if you wait for somebody else and rely your destiny to them, it will never come. So you control your own destiny all the time. Mm -hmm. So thank you everyone. I hope you all learned something based on the experience that us that I had. So entrepreneurs, I trust that you had a very productive discussion with Mikey and Milka. So for your challenge, Milka, what do you have for them? So I have to ask you entrepreneurs, have you ever flown a plane? Uh, no. Interesting, because definitely this will be a once-in-a-lifetime challenge for you. The challenge that I'm giving to them is becoming a pilot for a day. No? Like a regular pilot, which trains the mga simulators. Namin. They will have a chance to go inside the simulators itself and try to be pilots for a day. Mate testing dito yung paano sila kabilis matrain, magabsorb, and in terms of pressure, kasi may pressure dito kung they can take that pressure. So entrepreneurs, I hope you're ready. Okay, entrepreneurs, enjoy and good luck. Thank you. Thank you up next. So today, you're supposed to be able to fly the Airbus 320. The simulator that we will be using tonight simulates actual flight. You will feel also an actual crash. So now, up, 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 up. Roll out now, roll out now, anticipate. Good evening. I'm Captain Dexter Comendador. I'm a pilot, but my duties now are as President and CEO of uh, AirAsia. So today, you're supposed to be able to fly the Airbus 320. The simulator that we will be using tonight will be a level D simulator, meaning it simulates actual flight. So we will be doing a safety briefing before we enter 
the simulator in case it crashes because you will feel also an actual crash yeah, if you crash work. the plane. And I hope you don't do that. <laughs> what we introduced to the guys is a part of the basic check ride for a pilot to be released in the line. Usually these pilots undergo two to three months training before they are released with their license. They will be doing it only for one session. And I am confident that they'll be able to do this. Our goal tonight is for you to be able to take off and land, do a normal traffic pattern, and then land the plane in one try. This test for them is about following procedures in detail. This is the primary flight display. This is where you will concentrate on. It's about setting up the procedures and sticking to them. They have to be very detailed in what they're supposed to do to avoid accidents. If you're able to do this, you can fly it really in the line. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you Captain Gomer Monreal. He's our director for flight operations. He'll be assisting you as the second pilot to make sure that you'll be able to accomplish your mission. I'll be grading you individually for each phase of flight, and then your scores will be totaled and then combined as a team. Then we'll be able to determine which team will win. For the challenge, the entrepreneurs are split into two teams. Belle from Yellow Dot and Abby from Style Genie form Team Yellow Genie, while Joff from Gypsy and RG from One Ride make up Team Gypsy Ride. First to take the pilot seat is Abby from Team Yellow Genie. Ready, Abby? I think so. Okay, cool red, zero one, you're cleared for takeoff, runway zero six. Maintain 2,000 initially. Hold both throttles. Stand by. Stabilize. Go. Touch it. Okay. Flex 60 SRS. Auto thrust blue. P1. Rotate. Hila. Hila. Pass the climb. Gear up. Full red 01. Turn right. Heading 150. Full red 01. Heading 150. That's it. <laughs> You're flying the plane. <laughs> wow, look at the mountains. <laughs> the easiest, I guess, was when you uh, get the hang of it already and you're more relaxed. And of course, the co-pilot, Captain Gomer, actually really helped a lot because I was less nervous when he was giving me instructions. Cool Red 01, you're clear to land, runway 06. Cool Red 01, clear to land, runway 06. We're clear to land. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, retard. Perfect. Five. Very good. Reverse. Quarters. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Dapat lang relax ka talaga. I learned that when things get really tough, you have to really just relax, breathe, because things will eventually be all right. Up next is Bell. Stabilize. Push. That's it. Pull. Bring it to 15 degrees. Pass the climb. Gear up. That's it. Very nice rotation. Turn right, heading 150, full red 01. Heading 150, full red 01. Up, 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 up. That's good. Roll out, roll out now, roll out now. Anticipate. The reason why there's a horn because you're 300 feet below 2,000. So the horn disappears when you're getting close to 2,000. We had rules to follow and had to really absorb it to make the plane fly. It was scary because it was a simulator and we had to feel everything. So just relax, okay? Full red 01, you're clear to land runway 06. Full red 01, clear to land 06. We're clear to land, I'll take correction up. Box down! Box down! The landing was scary because there's a pattern there that we need to follow. 
and we couldn't focus on both the landing view as well as the monitor, so we had to see both. Player to five. When we come, five. Okay. Keep it down. Okay, good. The landing. The landing yung mo nairaban. Extremely fun afterwards that you felt that you safely took off the plane and landed. I'm very thankful with the co-pilots I had, with the mentors I had, who really taught us how to manage the plane well. I think it's a disadvantage uh, to be the first performers in a situation like this. They got it at the end. Their final approaches were stabilized and their landings were on standard. It was very important that Abby and I agreed how to maneuver the planes. So how do we touch, how do we turn right, turn left, and so those things. We really supported each other, you know, before she came in. I assured her that it's also easy, just relax. Now it's time for Team Gypsy Ride to take flight. First up is RG. Two right zero one, clear for takeoff, runway zero six, contain two thousand, runway heading. Stabilize, and push, one, two, that's it. Pull, pull, that's it, that's it, to 10 degrees. I felt like I was a real pilot. Correct, zero 01, heading to four zero, heading to four zero. Okay, follow the heading. The simulation felt like I was in a real airplane with a pilot and a co-pilot. I felt like I was really doing the job of a pilot. Roll out, roll out, level wings. That's center good. Line, center line. Yeah. Cool red zero one, you're clear to land runway zero six. Cool red zero one, clear to land runway zero six. Put the box one time. Tech stable, very good. It was really, really hard to land the plane because I think the wind was against. I was swerving left and right. Look outside. That's the runway. Correct one immediately. Two. Correct That's immediately. Attack on there. You will oh, retire. Retire. Attack him more. Okay. Reverse. Reverse. To, 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 to. Okay. Good. The challenge was really fun and it was very hard at the same time. But it was very insightful in a way that we've learned a lot. And last on the flight simulator is Joff. Correct. Zero one. Clear for takeoff runway. Zero six. Runway heading. Two thousand. Okay, push. One, two, that's it. Gear up. 15 degrees. That's it. Come on, some more, some more, some more. Okay. Turn right. Bank some more. Around 20 degrees. That's only 15. Okay, good. Come on, relax. Get down, get down. Okay. It's really just about composing yourself, having more presence, and paying attention to what captain tells you. Ito, ito nakita mo to. Ipantay mo yan, tatlo na yan. That's it. Since you're doing it right, you can enjoy the view. Nice, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> cool Red 01, you're now on finals. You're clear to land runway 06. Cool Red uh, 01, clear to land 06. Set there of the runway. Up. Think rate. 40, 30. You only went retard. Start. Okay, you landed it. <laughs> good, good. We actually learned a lot about how being a pilot actually relates to being a leader in the workplace. For the guys, it seems like they do a lot of playing in the computers, so uh, they're a lot more tech-savvy. It reflects in the way they perform. On the flying phase, they were smooth and they were on altitude and on heading. But there was a bit of problem on the last portion wherein they became a bit unstabilized, but they were still able to land it. All in all, they can be pilots, they can land the plane. They did land the plane and I congratulate them. I think we actually fared well, me and RG. We strategized by talking before we actually went to the sim. I think it was just paying attention to the details and giving our personal best 
for the benefit of the team. The results are in, and the winners will be revealed during the final pitch. For now, the entrepreneurs head home to prepare for the next stop of their journey. Next time on The Final Pitch, Team Tag Cash meets with the tokenizer, Mark Vernon. Produce a crowdfunding video for your teammate. I'm here to present Society 8. I can barely understand what you're actually doing. You would like to revolutionize the uh, transportation business. I was not enthused. She has to give up her seat as CEO, like say. <laughs> Thank you for participating in our little experiment. Right. What? What? <laughs>